what's the best exercise for an overweight horse? She'd like to have something she can do that doesn't take too long, um, but she wants to be able to do it every day. She's at the barn every day, which I think is fantastic. It is good, yeah. And she <laughs> very sweetly says that her horse is a little chubster, and she'd like to have an efficient exercise that they can do um, so that she can make sure oh. he's maintaining or achieving a healthy weight. All right. Well, I looked again, the Horse Health Library, great articles. If I say so myself, and, and written by you, yeah, and they're written by me, yeah. And then the the Ask the Vet blog is good stuff, and so I that's where I go for information because this is not the first time I've been asked this question, and so I have two blogs. One's called Exercising the Easy Keeper, and the other one's Turnout Time versus Exercise. Let me start with that one because okay. that one actually shocked me a little bit, um, and I answered her buy a lottery ticket. This is your day. <laughs> so there was a study out of uh, Virginia, and what they found is that. Horses turned out not in dry lots or paddocks, but okay. in pastures, so big, large, rolling pastures. And I know not everyone has that, but it's a start. Horses turned out on pastures had the same fitness as horses that were stalled and exercised. Oh. So okay. they had three groups. They had the just pasture turnout over the winter. No riding. No. Okay. And then they had group number two was stalled and then daily exercise. Okay. And then group three was just stalled. Okay. So clearly group three went down in their fitness and, and other parameters they measured, but groups one and two were the same. Oh. That, I thought that was really interesting. So your horse will sort of take care of himself left to his own devices. When you make his, his environment more like nature intended. Yeah. What we do though is we stall them, and sometimes we stall them with runs, and, and better, we stall them with runs and paddocks, mm -hmm. but it's still a small, flat, contained area. And they really do better when they can walk at their own pace and walk up and down and around and, and run a little bit because somebody was chasing them. So, Or they thought they heard a treat bag. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I'm guessing maybe her horse would do that. It seems like maybe. The other one, exercising the easy keeper, you, you should read this one because there's there's too many studies for us to go over today, but um, they did find a key, a key thing was you have to keep exercising. So daily is good. You don't have to go for hours and hours. A lot of these were 30 minutes of walking and trotting. But when they quit exercising, I think it was after nine days, the horses went back to their original level of fitness. So the important thing is daily, short, intense if your horse is ready for it but keep up mm -hmm. don't stop okay you know I think um, one of the things that I want to give Jessica credit for is I think there are a lot of horses you say you get these questions a lot because there are a lot of horses out there that are overweight and yeah. Jessica is doing a great job being conscious of knowing that it's important for her to help her horse lose that weight mm -hmm. what are some of the impacts if people don't take that as seriously and think like oh fat horses are cute horses and yeah. they're happier well when you're carrying too much weight, it's hard to dissipate heat. Mm -hmm. So they're going to struggle more when it gets hot in, in the summers or in Florida, California. Um, they also are more prone to laminitis because mm. their hooves aren't increasing in size, but yet they're carrying more, more. pounds in that square sure. inch. Um, and, and you can set yourself up also for some actual conditions, not diseases so much, but like equine metabolic syndrome which includes insulin resistance. And that's a key factor in exercising. Exercise has been shown to make your insulin, make your body more sensitive to the effects of insulin. Mm -hmm. So your question is a good one because by exercising and by keeping the weight off, you're scientifically helping your horse from the inside and you're seeing the effects on the outside. Right, so it's not just about vanity, so your horse has no. a nice, nice beach body, no. but it's for his long-term yeah. health and wellness and yeah. soundness. Keeping your metabolism working right and your musculoskeletal system and just everything. Yeah. It's good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, can I say one more thing about this? Yeah. Small whole hay net. Also With, the good friend of uh, this guy. Yeah. The yeah. easy keeper, the yeah. chumpster, and if he you won't, will. He won't hit you for it. They actually like having to go get their hay from the bag. Because it's, it's more like grazing. grazing. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Small whole hay nets for everyone. <laughs> right. I think it's not me. No. No. We don't need that. We can control <laughs> ourselves. We can convince ourselves of that anyway. <laughs>